just so you know, I don't have to have a charge controller, but it's a little dangerous. There's 29.1 volts on a 24 volt battery bank. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Just got home from work. So, I'm turn the first one on. Watch that go down. Oh, I hit it the wrong way. It's going to sink. It's going to tie in. There it goes. Now the second inverter, they're both 1,000 watt. Twenty-six point two. I'm going to turn the other inverter on. Now the charge controller. <laughs> I have it. I just got to put plywood on that back wall. I'm going to. I'm going to redo it. It's got to be completely rewired and professional run. I will do it this time. So, just wanted everybody to know. It doesn't have to happen, but what you're going to do is you, you can take a 12 volt battery up to 14 volts. That's okay. Don't go over 14 volts. Now, a 24 volt battery bank like this is, it's can go up to 28, but you just saw it at 29, so that's not good. So they're probably a little warm. They don't feel warm at all. But just know, I took it over. So I will, I, I'm going to leave it on for a while. I'm going to back feed the grid right out through the meter. So I'm probably paying them three cents a kilowatt. <laughs> and when I need to use that electricity again, I'm going to pay nine cents for it, that kilowatt. <laughs> it is what it is. The house is going to go off grid soon, or most of it. I hear the refrigerator, the bearings, and a few other things don't work very good, and the motor doesn't like from pure sine wave inverters for some reason. I was watching a video on that not too long ago. I didn't quite understand it, but I could run the rest of the house off-grid, off per se. All right. See what happens this weekend. Take care.